So I've been asked to create a four dummies guide to solve a problem that occurred with uh, on very old machines with very old motherboards from around about 2008 to 2009 um, to do that, that appeared after the Windows 10 April 2018 feature update. Um, and what happened was basically with uh, on X58 motherboards uh, that happened to use a disk controller um, RAID controller in fact called ICH10R from Intel um, there was a problem because what it appears to have happened is that Microsoft appeared to have rolled out um, the support for this very old um, Intel rapid uh, rapid storage transport uh, driver um, and dumped it into a more generic uh, storeport.sys uh, SCSI driver um, that Windows 10 has built in. So, how to get around it? I discovered that um, basically you can't install the new Intel RST because it dropped support for this old ICH10R back in the uh, back in 2012, I believe. Um, but now, um, what you can do is you can go and thankfully find the old driver and install it even on the very latest. Uh, um, uh, 1803 version of uh, Windows 10. So, um, how do we how do we do it? The first thing you've got to do is you've got to check that your motherboard is the person that's asking me is asking about um, a particular motherboard, um, which is, is the Asus PQ50 Pro. Um, Chop Stewie, I believe it's actually the PQ uh, PSQ Pro that you're talking about. Uh, which is this uh, motherboard. It's not too dissimilar to the one that I had the problem with, um, which was a white label Dell version. Um, but it's uh, most importantly in the specifications, and this is what you need to check before you do this on any machine, is um, that it is using on the chipset, it's this uh, ICH10R. Um, so as long as you've got that, um, and you've got the problem, which is going to be stuttering audio, maybe stuttering mouse movement, very slow hard disk access potentially, but maybe even blue screens. But basically, you can think of it as very, very, very unusable performance of a machine. In my case, mostly exhibited through audio issues, both through USB sound cards and built-in sound cards. Um, so, with that in mind, what do you have to do? Okay, so you've got a motherboard with this problem. Um, and you have got, let's just make sure that we're, we're doing this correctly, we've got, uh, you check your version of Windows and you are very definitely at um, version 1803 because um, I can't speak for any other version of Windows that this will work with. Um, so, you go into uh, your browser and you're going to look for um, Intel RST download it'll take you to the Intel Rapid Storage Technology. This used to be the Intel Matrix Storage Manager, I think it used to be called. Um, and it'll take you here. You can go straight to the top link here, which is the latest version of it. However, the latest version is completely useless to you because they dropped support back in 2012. So thankfully, if you go down here, Intel uh, is wonderful, <laughs> thankfully Intel, and still provide all of these older versions and the last version that I can find that uh, that maintains support for the uh, uh, ICH10R is um, version 11 11.7.0.1013 11 it would seem here and you can uh, check the uh, release notes um, but it does actually if you go go into it um, Somewhere in these release notes, or maybe it's in the README file, it shows that it still supports the ICH10R. Uh, there we go. Down here at the bottom here. So, what do you have to do? You have to click on the uh, download the executable, accept the terms, it'll download it. You see, I've already downloaded it. Um, then you're going to have to run it. But. Let's take a step back before you do that. This is a big thing, right? You're going to be replacing the driver that makes your hard disk, uh, your computer able or Windows able to use your hard disk performance. So let's take a step back for safety. Um, and before we run it, we're going to create 
a restore point. All you've done to do is on your search bar, type in create, and the first thing that comes up will be create a restore point. Um, and you can go in here, down at the bottom here, create a restore point right now for the drives that you care about. Call it before RST. Click on create, and it will create a report point. It, it does no harm whatsoever to do that before you install any driver um, other than perhaps building up a lot of restore points. Windows will often do it automatically anyway. Um, so once that's done, we go back um, to the uh, the driver. That restore point is now complete. Uh, we're gonna we've downloaded it, so it'll already be in my downloaded files. Uh, but heck, for the sake of it, let's download it again. Maybe I won't download it again. I run that. And I'm not going to take it the whole way because this is the machine that I had the problem on that I'm actually recording this video on. But there we go, Intel Rapid Storage Technology. Um, and it's going to tell you again, warning, 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 um, with good reason. It is literally a case of next, 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 all the way through this and then you will be able to um, reboot your machine and after rebooting your machine if it's anything like my system and apparently everybody else in this thread um, you'll find that all of a sudden your performance is back to somewhat reasonable if not great it's definitely an awful lot better than it was um, and uh, let me know if it works give this a thumbs up if it works and nice comments are always appreciated thank you very very much